The good, relentless attack here, looking for the takedown. Will he get it? Yeah, got him. Slammed him down. Griffin. Dos Anjos going for a leg again. Got to be careful here. Now Dos Anjos is going to get his back if he can get his leg out from under. Dos Anjos is trying to push that right leg of Tyson Griffin forward and then use it to, oh, he's got a leg lock here. This is a leg compression. This is a bad spot for Tyson Griffin. He's in deep, deep trouble here, Mike. His leg is jacked. And this is in the first round. Dos Anjos, that one just kind of caught him with the foot, but he had landed a bunch of them, vicious ones oh. with the shin. That one very hard. And over and over and over again, and you know, and as a matter of fact, these, these, what we're seeing right now aren't even the best ones. He landed some of them that were like deep with the shin. You might get one of them isolated. He's, he's getting tagged here. Even from inside his guard. Oh, hammer fist! Dos Anjos trying to off and finish this fight. This Bradley is like punching from the bottom. That's like a, a page out of one of Don Fry's fights. Recognizing that, really trying to defend with his right. What he's trying to do is try to pop that arm up and behind the back of Terry Edom. And he's in the perfect position for it. Switches to an arm bar in what we call spider web here. Oh, he may get it. He's Looking got it for the arm bar. Out. Can he finish this fight? And it's a trouble. It. it is all over. Now his, his striking is a big part of his game now. Punishing that front leg of Guida. And he really looks like a tie fighter now, the way he moves. Oh, uppercut. And again, he's trying very hard for that takedown, and he gets it. 35 años in that fight against Rob Emerson that you spoke of, Joe. And I'll tell you what, right away, already, I'm seeing George Sotaropoulos sharing his attack. Oh! It is over! That thing came from Copacabana Beach. Left leg, uh, leg kicks. Looking for the takedown. He's got his hands together and he gets him down. But Shalarus, who comes from a wrestling background. Well brawl, and here he is. He finds himself in trouble. That left kick right to the head. Didn't need it though. There he got the other hook in. He's got two hooks in full control of those hips. Shalarus is in big time trouble here now. Dos Andros trying to get underneath the chin of Kamal Shalarus. Now he's trapping the arm and he has it. That rear naked choke is in, and it's in tight. Shiloh Roos has the tap. So there is the tap. Three, six nations represented on our main card here tonight. Watch. Oh, big left hand from Dos Anjos. Nice takedown from Dos Anjos. I'm sorry. And just as I was about to couple. And here's an uppercut. Boom. You got to go back to UFC 73, the last time Bocek was dominated like this, which was even more so, which was when he was beaten by the former champion, Frankie Edgar, back when Frankie was uh, making a run at the title. But this is just over and over again. Nice little combination there inside for Dunham. And Dos Anjos doing a nice job mixing it up, going to the body, moving upstairs, couple uppercuts laid for Dunham. Great exchange right there. Dos Anjos was doing a great job of making the octagon smaller. And what I mean by that, John, is he's really just keeping the fight in one space, really right on top of Cerrone, not giving him any space. He's staying on the inside. He's staying in boxing range. And it makes it very difficult for Cerrone to adjust there. And here he is in on a big body of Nurmagomedov, like we saw earlier tonight. He's attacking. When you have two different stances, you go to the body and you go inside the lead leg. And also, Dos Anjos. There it is. Oh, there. Beautiful job by Nurmagomedov. Jason High starting to land. Dos oh. Anjos drops him there. Dos Anjos more than content to hang in the pocket. He might get the finish here. Jason High is hanging in there somehow. He might be out. Rafael Dos Anjos. Beautiful combination there. Rafael Dos Anjos, he's finding a home for that straight left. Modifying it to a little bit of an overhand, and there lands a nice double knee. Hard to see the extent to which that. Oh! Down goes Henderson! Rafael Dos Anjos! Yep. He's slapping him. Wow. And then Dos Anjos is slapping him back. Ten seconds. An absolutely dominant performance by Rafael Dos Anjos. Seconds of the fight. Rafael Dos Anjos. By far the greatest performance of his mixed martial arts career. We have a new champion. Absolutely. A new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Rafael Dos Anjos.
stopped. Sanjos. Oh, hard body uh, kick by yeah. Sanjos. That body, and and all over him. That body shot got hurt him. Right here, that right him. That body shot got him. He's still in it. Oh, he just got it. He's got to wait it out. Hopefully, Herb doesn't stop it and dissipate. That's all he can do right now. Cowboy is in all kinds of trouble. He's in all kinds of trouble. He's in all kinds of trouble. Happy Alto Sanjos. Back upstairs. Beautiful variety from Eddie. What is keeping the chair? Uppercuts. Herb just gets the pin. That is it. Eddie Alvarez is the UFC lightweight champion. Do you believe it? It's going to be really important to see Ferguson and Chelsea. One part is, is actually being in the octagon and, and testing your skills. This is what we love to do. This is why we do it. So if the weight cut becomes a real drag, Ooh, switch knee. Nice. It makes sense to switch it up. Yep. Oh, right here. Oh, he puts up arm oh. triangle. Oh, this is tight. This is the squeeze. That is he's, tight. He's going out. That is tight. That's as tight as he gets. Oh yeah. Fresh. He's fresh. RDA needs to lay his chest flat. Lay his chest flat on the mat to try to get the there. He is. The the I mean those outside leg kicks were crazy early in the fight. And then look at the jab in the, the left hand. Rafael Dos Anjos, boom, left hand, body shot, right there. I mean, Rafael Dos Anjos set the pace of this fight and continued to fight at that pace for five rounds. Team takedown attempts already. Now one from Dos Anjos. Look at this. Got him. Oh, now things get very interesting. Very interesting. Because he has a crushing top game. Left shoulder. He's grabbing his shorts as well. That is tough. Uh -huh. Usman trying to roll out of it. And push off, and he does. Didn't get it, and finds himself on the bottom. RDA working from full mount. A minute and a half to go. Oh, and now he steps over to side control. Oh, tight. He did this to Neil Magny. That's very tight. Put him in. Edward, you see him. He's on the outside. He's got the space where he wants a nice low kick. And those are adding up. You can't eat a lot of them, right? And the, the, the level of competition is up there, but clearly that's the game plan. We want Piesa finds himself on his back. And here goes. Became the second oh. fighter in UFC history to pass seven hours of total uh, time. He came into tonight's second place only to Frankie Edgar. How about that for those guys? Veterans, more than seven hours in the world-famous octagon. And another takedown for RDA. So, so this is big for Hafiel. Now it's a proper takedown, right? It's, a, it's out in the open. It's away from...